Hi to all participants during the Learn to Create Google Forms for Beginners last May 27. Thank you for patiently waiting and here's how you can download the slides and your e-certificate. But first, please do subscribe on my YouTube channel by hitting the subscribe button. I will make further announcements soon so it will come handy if you subscribe. But that is not actually required. So here's how you can download the presentation slides used during the webinar. So just go to this YouTube channel and hover to the playlists. So you can see here webinar tutorials using Google Meet. Just click on such playlist. And you can see in every video description that there is a link going to the slides. Just copy that and paste it in your address bar or just click on that and it will lead you to the presentation slides itself. And you can download the slides by clicking on this button. Or you can go to the playlists back again and you can see another webinar tutorials in FB Live. And it's the same thing. It has the link so that you can go to and download the presentation slides. For the information of everyone, we attempted to send each one certificates, but there is a lot of bounced back emails because the email addresses that some have provided during the quiz had typographical errors and that was quite unbearable. This is an example of those emails. Now, um, so if you have friends who joined the, we the webinar and you know that we can't reach them because they provided the wrong email address, please, please be kind enough to inform them of this YouTube video so that they can also download their e-certificates. And finally, here's how you can download your e-certificate. First, go to this link. So this link lists all the participant name, the batch number, and the file name. So the list is listed alphabetically according to the first name. So you must take note of your corresponding batch number and file name. Now to make it easier, you can press in Control F and type in your first name followed by your middle initial and your family name. So it will lead you to your corresponding batch number and your file name. So do not ever forget to take note of your equivalent batch number. And in this case, it's batch 6. And your file name, and in this case, it is 3512. Now, you might notice repeating participant names. And these are those who attempted to retake the quiz until they reach the passing score. Now, this serves as a warning to be in fairness to those who took the exam once. And you might be blacklisted in our future webinars once you do this again, even if the instruction was clear to take the exam once. Now, you might also notice some typographical errors in the names. Please note that we never edited your names as we have an auto-generating uh, mechanism to harvest your names according to what the user has input during that quiz. It means that you typed in your own typographical error and is very much user-inflicted. In that case, comment in your concern in the YouTube video and any concern sent via email or Facebook message or Facebook post in our page will not be entertained. Next, go to this link. And this is the drive that has all the certificates and remember your batch number. So there are folders according to your batch number and just go to your corresponding batch number. And in my case, it is batch 6. And then you can go to the certificate itself. So in this case, it's 3512. So you can directly download on it by right clicking on it and download button. Again, it's download, not make a copy, but rather it's download. And it will save a local copy of the certificate in your PC. Or you can actually uh, double click on it and you can see the preview of your certificate. You can once again click the download bot button on the upper right corner. You can also change the view. 
but it might take a while because um, there are a lot of files so once again you can right click on it and download and please do not make a copy please note that you can only view and download your own certificate viewing downloading and making use of the contents of a certificate that is not yours is illegal and may be penalized under ra 10173 or the data privacy act of 2012 and other subsequent laws we can monitor your viewing editing and downloading activity through google drive once again for any concerns of names with typographical errors comment in this youtube video the correct one it will take another three weeks maximum to produce your updated certificate on the other hand if you have successfully downloaded your certificate i will be glad if you comment such success here in this video through the comment section and hit the like button any form of communication sent through email or facebook post or message will not be entertained and with that, I'm also inviting you to the fourth Learn to Series webinar, which is how you can maximize your Gmail. So that will be on June 29, 2020 at 2 p.m. Thank you very much for listening. And this channel has a lot of tutorials to offer. So if you don't mind, then you can subscribe in this channel and learn others, other stuff about computers. Bye!